Hey traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to show you how do you actually determine if a trading strategy is right for you. Okay, specifically, I'll be going through the two main types of trading strategies that is available in the market out there. Okay, trend trading and mean reversion. Okay, now trading is very personal. Okay, meaning that a trading strategy that works for me may not actually work for you. Okay, so having the right strategy that suits your personality as well as your trading psychology is very important and that is the topic for today's video okay so let's get into today's video uh, this is what i'll be covering okay the first thing is i want to explain to you why you need to choose a trading strategy that suits your trading psychology okay this is also the reason why you cannot just you know follow someone else's strategy and expect to be successful with it okay because that person might have a different trading psychology than you okay so i do not see a lot of people talk about this and that is why i want to address this in today's video okay then i'll give you know a brief introduction about what is trend trading and what is mean reversion uh, trading okay just a very brief one because that's not a focus for the video but i just want to you know explain it to you in case you're new to trading okay then I want to show you the equity curve of a trend trading strategy as well as the equity curve of a mean reversion strategy. Okay, this is the crux of today's video because when you understand how the equity curve looks like, then you can ask yourself if you can accept that kind of equity curve. Okay, and when you can accept that kind of equity curve, then you know you can actually trade the strategy without you know without any emotions right because you can accept that you know as part of this kind of strategy this is what i should expect okay so this is really the crux of today's video and lastly i just like to give you some pointers to point you in a direction okay i'll just give you some questions uh to help you think about you know which trading strategy should you choose should you choose the trend trading or should you choose the mean reversion trading strategy okay now by the way if you are new to this channel right please give us a thumbs up right help us to grow this channel because we are on a mission to hit 100,000 subscribers right we want to impact 100,000 traders okay we also have a free day trading guide for you so the link is in the description so you can check that out you can download a free copy okay it's free and it's very comprehensive that teaches you everything you need to know to have a day trading strategy that works okay now that day trading strategy may not be suited to your personality and that is why you want to co continue watching this video right you want to understand whether um how do you actually choose a trading strategy that suits your trading psychology okay so let's get into the first part okay why do you need to choose a trading strategy that suits your trading psychology i don't know if you heard this before but trading is really 80 percent psychology okay it's only 20 percent strategy now the mistake that a lot of traders make is that they spend too much time on strategy right they are looking for new strategies they are watching youtube videos about what's the best day trading strategy what is the best indicator strategies right they're always looking for strategies but here's the thing okay here's the thing right it's way 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 easier for you to change your trading strategies than it is to tra change your trading psychology okay certain aspect of your you know psychological makeup it's something that you are born with maybe you are designed that way you, you you think a certain way okay so that's very hard to change okay as as for trading strategies if you do a google search there are thousand and one trading strategies out there in the market okay in fact new trading strategies are being created every single day okay so honestly it's so easy to find another trading strategy but what is not easy is for you to change your trading psychology okay so it is pivotal that you first identify uh, how you think as a trader right what what works for you you know are you a person that likes to take small profits are you a person who likes to make big profits you know what kind of person are you first right start here then once you figure that out then you look for a training strategy that complements your trading psychology okay this is often overlooked by a lot of people right they just go on a training strategy hunt they jump from one strategy to another to another if something doesn't work they move on without really understanding why right why they are unable to execute this strategy okay so if that is you right then you want to really ask yourself some questions which uh, i will provide you provide you with in this video okay 
So now, what is, it? What is trend trading? Let me just give you a very quick, uh, um, you know, brief introduction. A trend trading is really just a strategy where you're trying to write trends, okay? You're just looking for a series of higher highs or higher lows, and you're trying to catch the main move in the market. Okay, so in a trend trading scenario, it is very likely that you sit through the swings, the ups and downs, because you're just trying to capture the main trend. Okay, so that's trend trading for you. Very brief, okay, what's the mean reversion? The mean reversion is the opposite, okay, it's a trading strategy where you are betting that price reverts to the mean. Okay, meaning that you do not expect price to trend one direction. Okay, if price is, let's say, you know, let me just draw it over here. Let's say price is here, you, you are just betting that price goes back to the mean, which is somewhere here. Okay, if price is low, you want to buy it up. Okay, if price is how you want to sell. So you're just really betting that price goes back to the mean. Okay, it's nothing too complicated. Okay, that's not the focus of today's video. Okay, so I will not go into full details about this. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so right now I have two equity curves for you. Okay, I have two equity curves. One is a trend trading equity curve and the other is a mean reversion equity curve. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause this video and try to make a guess. Okay, make a guess about as to which equity curve is the trend trading equity curve and which is the mean reversion equity curve. Have you done that? Okay, hopefully you try it, right? It's okay to get it wrong, but just, you know, hopefully you should try it, okay? So the answer actually is the left, this one over here, the, the one on the left is actually, actually a mean reversion equity curve, and the one on the right over here is a trend trading equity curve, okay? So let me explain to you how do each of these equity curve works and why it is the way it is, okay? So let's talk about the mean reversion equity curve curve first okay when you are trading a mean reversion strategy what you can see is that you can expect to see very stable gains okay so you can see that this equity curve is very stable okay it's it's very it's very stable but when there's a sharp there's a drawdown right when you see a drawdown the drawdowns tends to be very sharp okay so normally your drawdowns happen when the market is trending okay because a uh, mean reversion means that uh, you are betting that price goes back to the mean, okay? But in a trend, trending scenario, the market doesn't uh, go back to the mean. The market just keeps trending and that's where a mean reversion strategy gets hit, okay? And that explains the sharp drawdown over here. You can see the sharp drawdowns, okay? So what can you expect for a mean reversion, right? You can expect a higher win rate, means that uh, you probably can get it right maybe 60% of the time, maybe even 70% of the time if you are good, okay? But the downside of a mean reversion strategy is that you will not have a high reward to risk ratio, okay? You have a low one, okay? Don't expect to put in a dollar and make $3, okay? Because you are just betting for a price to go back to the mean, okay? So this gives rise to a equity curve that is very stable, okay? But when there's a correction, where there is a retracement or there is a drawdown, it's very sharp, okay? So you have to understand that this is how the equity curve of a mean reversion looks like if you want to trade this strategy, okay? Because you must be comfortable with the fact that when there is a drawdown, it's going to be a very sharp drawdown, okay? That's something that you need to accept, okay? And that is why, you know, I did this comparison, right? To first help you to identify that this is the expected outcome of the strategy. If you can accept it, if you find it's something that resonates with you, is something that you know, um, is something that you like, then you should go for this strategy. Okay. So let's go on to the second one. Okay, let me just clear this up first, so that uh, it's clean. Okay, the second one is actually trend trading. Okay, trend trading is kind of uh, the opposite. Okay, so again, trend trading is not for everyone because uh. While you do have very sharp gains, as uh, you can see over here, let me just draw it, okay? While you do have very sharp gains, whenever you are right, you make a lot of money, okay? But you can see that a long period of the time, the market, the, the, your equity curve, sorry, your equity curve will be in long periods of drawdown, right? Because the market only trends about 20% of the time, okay? That means 80% of the time, you'll be taking small losses, your account will be in the red. Meaning that, you know, you, you'll just be making, you know, losses here and there, making small wins here and there, but you, you don't make much money, okay? But when you get it right, okay, in a trend, trending market, when you get it right, you're going to make a lot of money, okay? So trend trading is not for everyone because it, it takes a lot of discipline. 
to execute the trade day in and day out and not see a profit, okay? Imagine you are trading this equity curve here, okay? And uh, you started trading at uh, maybe over here, okay? About the fifth month. You, you do realize that for four months, okay? Let me clear it so that's clearer. Okay, let's say this is your, this is your equity curve, okay? So for this period, four months, your account is just going down and down and down, right? It's going nowhere, right? But nonetheless, your curve, your, your drawdown is relatively gentle, right? Because you are betting small amount each trade, right? But nonetheless, it's four periods or four months of, you know, losing money and four months of drawdown. Okay, can you take that, right? You have to ask your question if that's for you. Are you a person who, after taking a series of trades, loses money, gives up, and you know, don't want to trade anymore? If that's you, then chances are trend trading isn't for you because this is what you need to expect, you know, if you want to do trend trading, okay? It's just part of how trend trading works, okay? You're going to have sharp gains followed by long periods of drawdown, okay? Your drawdown can be very gentle if you are able to manage your risk well, okay? Now, that's a big, uh, you know, that's a very big thing. You must be able to manage your risk and keep betting small amount of your account size whenever you are doing trend trading, okay? It's just the way it is, okay? You should also expect a low win rate, okay? Don't expect to get it like, you know, 70% of the time, right? If you can, in fact, get it right 30% of the time, if you are doing trend trading, you are already very good, okay? So do not expect high win rates, right? But when you are right, expect to make a lot of money, okay? That's how you make money in trend trading, not by being right a lot of times, but by making a lot of money when you are right, okay? So this is very important. You must be able to accept that this is how the equity curve looks. This is what you need to go through if you want to do trend trading, okay? So if you cannot accept this, then go back to the uh, mean, reversions, mean reversion strategy, which uh, the gains are more stable. Okay, this one over here. Okay, so now I'd like to move on to the last part of today's video is how do you actually choose a trading strategy that uh, you know suits you? Okay, so let me just clear this up first and then I'll just guide you through you know some questions. Okay, I've earlier explained you know how the equity curve looks, right? And I explained to you why you need to understand why the equity curve looks like this, right? Because you need to ask yourself if that's something that you can accept. Because ultimately, if you're going to trade that strategy, then your equity curve is going to look something like that, okay? So you must be able to accept the uh, ups and downs of the equity curve, okay? So in order for you to choose the right trading strategy for you, right, just for you, you need to understand your own trading psychology as a person, right? Some of the questions that you can ask yourself would be, you know, are you a perfectionist, okay? Must you get it right? A lot of times, right? Do, do, do you need a high win rate? Okay, these are questions which I can't answer for you, right? I just want to point you in the right direction so that you can think about it, right? That you can approach your trading uh, through the lens of, uh, you know, your self-analysis. You understand yourself as a trader first before you start looking for a trading strategy, okay? This is very important, right? You, you also want to ask yourself questions such as, do you quit easily when you have a series of losses, okay? If the answer is yes, then you shouldn't be sticking to trend trading, okay? Because in trend tr trading, as I mentioned, you're going to go through a long period, okay, of, uh, you know, consolidation in your equity curve and you won't see your gains uh, being made in most of your trades, right? Your gains are probably made in two or three very big trades that just go your way, okay? So you must accept that. And the last question I have for you is, do you like stable gains or are you a person who likes sharp gains? Right? Are you a person who, you know, when you are right, you like to make a lot of money or are you a person who like to see that every day you are making a bit of money? Okay, again, there is no right or no wrong. It just depends on your trading psychology. Okay, so if you like the stable gains model, then please stick to the mean reversion. Okay, if you are a person who like the sharp gains model, meaning that you like to make a lot of money, right, you are okay with having a low, low, you know, win rate, but when you are, you are right, you make a lot of money, then please stick to the trend trading uh, strategy, okay? So just a recap for today's video, right? I started off this video by sharing with you, you know, why you need to choose a trading strategy that suits your trading psychology, okay? Basically, trading is 80% psychology, so you need to get this right, okay? Get your trading psychology right first, then move on to your trading strategy, okay? Then I introduce to you what 
trend trading and mean reversion is. Okay, trend trading is just basically trying to catch the major trend in the market. Mean reversion is just trying to bet that price will revert back to the mean. Okay, I showed you the equity curve of trend trading as well as mean reversion trading strategies so that you can understand what to expect in your trading system if you were to trade trend trading or mean reversion. Okay, that's very important, right? Because you must be able to accept how the equity curve will look before you even start trading uh, either of these systems. Okay, lastly, I went through some questions, right, that you can ask yourself, you know, to help you choose the right trading strategy. Okay, so that's it for today's video, right? If you have not gotten our free day trading guide, just make sure to do it, right? The link is in the description. Okay, at the same time, please, you know, hit the like button, right? Help us to grow this channel, right? And, you know, just subscribe because we are creating a lot of content like this, okay? We spend a lot of money in our education and we are making all this free for you, okay? So hopefully you gain something for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to address it, right? Or you can just email my team at support at financialmarketwizards.com. Okay, and uh, our team will just get back to you about any questions you have, right? We love to help you. That's the reason why we create this video. So just feel free to ask us if you have anything. If not, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.